Hi my little Bucksters. This month's video post is focusing on the portrait of a potato that sold for over a million dollars. If you haven't heard, uh, photographer Kevin Abshkosh, Abshk, um, sold a portrait of a potato for one million euros which equals about 1.08 million dollars American USD. And it's crazy to think that a portrait of a potato, which I should be right here if I did this correctly, which is copyrighted him, don't take this photo, you get in trouble. It's crazy to think that such a photo like that would sell, but as I was doing research and I was looking into it, um, the reason why it was sold is because Mr. Abashk is famous for his portraits. He's done Johnny Depp, uh, Yoko Uno, I saw somewhere that he did Beyonce and Jay-Z, so Queen B, like the, the Queen B has had her portrait done by him and it brings me into something that we've talked about before in the past and a blog post that's coming soon about platforms and about being visible as an artist. Now the more famous you are the more outrageous your prices can get. This guy usually gets somewhere between 500,000 just to show up so yeah his portrait of a potato which is selling for over a million dollars is ridiculous but he has the fame to back it up. We've talked about platforms in the past. There will be a link below this video in the blog post. So if you're not on the actual blog, go check it out. But there will be, uh, so check out, to read that. But platforms is how artists argue and sell themselves forward. This guy, he obviously takes great work. The photo is actually in really great quality. Excuse me. The photo is in really great quality and you can tell that he put effort into the lighting. And he gives this stupid quote about how, like, he sees similarities between potatoes and humanity, and that's art bullshit for, I can't believe I sold this stupid photo for over a million dollars. Um, we'll get into that later. But he has the fame, I mean, for his quality of work, he can charge a lot more. Now, I say it's art bullshit because it is art bullshit. It's a photo of a potato. There's nothing significant about this potato. It wasn't the final potato from the Irish famine in the, Irish famine in the 1800s. Like, it's just a potato he found in the grocery store. Like, there's nothing to this potato. And it's art bullshit because it's things like that that make art less credible. This guy selling his photo of a potato for a million dollars is great for him. I'm not against his fame and I'm not against his profit because that's like what I want to do, I want to sell my photography. But when people see that a photo of a potato is worth a million dollars, they automatically think it's ridiculous. And so when I try to sell my photo of a sunset or my photo of the mayor of my local city, people automatically have that thought of art is ridiculous and art is pointless in the back of their minds. And so it's harder for me to argue to have my painting and my photo sold for 40 or 50 bucks, which is not a million dollars, because they think art is ridiculous. This guy worked really hard. I'm not trying to say that he's lazy. I'm not trying to say that he's not talented, because he did work really hard. Check out his, I've checked out some of his other stuff. He is very talented. He doesn't go into a photo shoot being like, what's a camera? What's lighting? He has a plan. And that's all needed for art skills. And I'm not against the fact that this potato went for a million dollars. That's super funny and weird. But it's going to have negative re repercussions in the art world for the regulars. And that's something that, as an artist, we all need to kind of keep our mind on and our eye on the news. So when crazy things like this happen, we can kind of prepare to answer those weird questions that we're going to get from relatives or customers or people being like, oh, you're a photographer? And they'll have that tone. And anyone who's an artist knows that tone of like, yeah, you became a photographer. And they have the air, like the air quotes in their tone and that's just not something that the art world needs. Now going back onto his platform and his art bullshit stuff, a part of being an artist is that platform, a part of it is being able to have these crazy crazy weird demands when you have that level of fame for it. And again, I have nothing against Kevin, um, I think it was super fantastic that he got to do this, but it's going to have negative repercussions for everyone else. Will there be crazier, weird projects in the future? Yes. So I'm not saying that there won't be crazy, weird things in the future. Weird art has been since the time, like the dawn of time. And sometimes weird art starts off as weird, so and then it develops into a style. So I'm thinking of realism or cubism 
obviously when the first person did that, it was weird and it was unusual and it didn't match what the art world wanted, but it developed into its own unique uh, genre and classic. And so maybe we're going to have a genre of potato portraits or fruit portraits or like portraits of still life. And that might be interesting. That'd be really cool. But at this moment, a million dollar potato is ridiculous. And so I just wanted to vent some of my thoughts on that and encourage you guys to comment and leave your own suggestions. Would you pay a million dollars for this photo? Like, is it worth it? Um, a part of me feels like the person who bought it did it as a joke and they're a super troll and they're in their living room going like, ha ha ha. So, I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Let us know if you think that you're going to become a fruit portraitist. Let, uh, let us know and send in some of your portraits. Maybe we'll publish them in the next issue.